I got tired of seeing movies, for example. Let's go to the movie. Or you, I got tired of seeing the movies where, oh, they're going to do the lights now tonight. They're sending so-and-so to the last mile, and there's always a brother with extra Vaseline standing at the bar. I just got tired of seeing that. Huh? Mm -hmm. When I get tired of seeing something, shit, I'm tired of seeing that. I remember sitting in the Fillmore in... in in um, San Francisco, and Fillmore District, and there's one. And I said, "Man, I'm tired of seeing that." So I thought, "Do well, we do it yourself." You got tired of seeing negative images of black people yeah. all the time in all films. Time. So I do it myself. Just like that, you just said, "Okay, I'm good." You've never done film before, right? No, 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 no. So I called a guy who was a still photographer who I knew. And I said, hey man, this is, well, how do we do, what came to it? I got a still camera. So what was it? He said, listen, and we talked a little bit, and he said, um, well, what kind of documentary? I said, no, I, I never want a documentary. I said, I want to tell a story. And I said, how long are movies? I've been going to triple feature movies all my life. You know, but I didn't pay attention. You know, you just went. He said, well, they're 90 minutes, give or take a couple minutes. So the next question, well, um, um, do you know anyone, etc.? He said, well, I have a camera, and if you, I could maybe do it for you and so forth. I, could, I didn't know where like director or any of those things. I said, well, he says, are you going to shoot in um, 16 or 35? And I said, oh, what's that? He says, 16 to 35 millimeters. So, oh, what's that? Huh? I didn't even know what millimeter was, it was 1635. And he explained to you that one was, one was more um, professional, but it could be blown up uh, 16 to 35. And, this, but in six, and he had a 16 millimeter camera, and this, but he didn't have a 35, but okay. And so, um, I asked him how much, you know, the, the, the cost, what, what it would film cost, and he told me. And I went and I calculated, at that time, it was 1957, you could make a feature film by my calculations for $500. So I said, Frank, we're going to do it. So I didn't think I was capable of writing a feature. So I thought I'd write three short stories and put them together and make them a feature. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And so we went out, and I remember the first day of shooting, and I did one of my stories. I had this boy standing here and this and this and this. And I said, all right, action. And the guy says, scream beat, fa ba 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 you know where it is, but I hadn't. Ca I five hundred dollars was the cost of ninety minutes of film. Hmm? Period. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. So anyway, we we get to jump ahead. My first feature was eleven minutes long. You know what I mean? <laughs> but my first was going to be. So then we get the film. Um, and we showed on the wall of his basement. We had a white wall, and then somebody borrowed a projector of somebody, and I looked at it. Well, before that, I looked at the first piece of it, and I looked at it under Mario's crib because I didn't have money for curtains or anything. We just lived all in one room, and I, but it was dark under the crib. I looked at it under the crib, and I expected to see, you know, like that. Hmm? It looked like a regular film. I said, oh, goddamn, I got you now. I didn't know what to expect. Your ass is grass. That's what I said to the world. So then when we got got all the, the film, I showed it on the wall. And I got to saying, it's okay. The story's in there, but it, it's, it's, we haven't edited it yet. What's that? I mean, that I'm not doing I didn't mm. never, any of this. So then he, he gave me a book called... Film and Form or something like that by Eisenstein. Hmm? And someone else showed me how to glue two pieces together. 
That consists of my complete formal film education. And then anyway, I edited it down to where it was this. And I said, okay. So well, now they said, no, 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 no. I said, well, first it had happened. I said, well, we're going to edit. He said, no, you don't touch that. That's the, the, that's the major negative. That's a, your mother copy. Then you got to make a print of that. Print of that. Now, my wife is getting, the rocks are getting bigger in her jaws. They're turning to boulders. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I sold my car. And it is, and the other. And, um, but I knew I was on the right track. Because he may not come when you call him. But he's always right on time. My car, which had not been working very well since I got back from Mexico, um, was sitting on the in the middle of the block, a Studebaker, red Studebaker. And I was upstairs in this little place on the roof where I lived. And I heard, Pekang, bloom, bound, ting a lang bunko. Cling tong, bling a ling. So what's that? I mean, it's... <laughs> so I run downstairs. And it's on California Street in, in, in San Francisco. A car had had a terrible accident and hit another car. The car had ricocheted all the way down the block, bam, and ran into my car. Hmm? And I said, oh, oh, my car, my car. Hmm? I said, well, it, you know, it, it doesn't look that bad. I said, oh, you never know. Get, get how many keys, honey? Rrr, rrr, the car hadn't started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, you done ruined my car. <laughs> So they, uh, they paid for repair the car. I sold it and got more film. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, a, that's a sign, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then people said, well, how about um, the soundtrack and music? I forgot all about that. Hmm? There was no sound on it. It was just a <laughs> camera like that, you mm. know what I mean? This was before you had cell phones. <laughs> So then, I had to put the title on that I was going to put music, but I couldn't, didn't know anything about music, and everybody that I could afford was very undependable. So that's when I went and numbered all the keys on the piano, went bink, 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 and, put and plunk out a melody. Your own score. That's how I went into music. And you, you said your wife was kind of getting tight jaws over oh, all, all of this. Yeah. So then after I got him finally finished, I went down to Hollywood with my little films. And they threw me down the steps. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so interesting to see how you can have a dichotomy. I mean, I learned to live under the roughest gang situations and the this and the that. And still, at some other, some other stage, you'd, be, you'd have your soul outside of it and believe that... America at that time was American, and I'd go down and show my work. Golly, Mr. Bill, you know what I mean? Now, what the one part is you can they would never say was um, nobody was straight up. They would, they would try and, and kill your soul. And they would say, well, well, it's obvious that you don't have the the filmmaker's point of view on bottom they didn't say nigga get out of here. They said, No, you don't have this and blah blah So I kept hanging around, say offered me a job as a in front of camera as a dancer or something and so forth. And broken hearted, I went back I went to my second love, which was mathematics.